idea. I think I'm gonna draw some things in there. I wanna give it like a whimsical kind of quality. So this is a start. I'm gonna add some things to this. And then I have to, I think I'm gonna cut some little four point stars in the pumpkin so it's some light coming through, but we're gonna wait and see what this looks like at night. For now, I think this is good. I'm, I'm too hot, I need to go inside. But it only took me, I don't know, two months to finally finish this. It's not really finished the way I wanted it to be. You can kind of see. I actually really love these. So I took a couple of pumpkins, I finished them, and then I actually bought um, grapevine wreaths and I just cut them so they could fit over there and I stuck all the leaves in. I just love that look. Okay, I'm gonna start on my most ambitious part of this entire festive thing and we're gonna see how far I can get. The jack-o'-lanterns on the, the lamps, they look good, but they needed a little bit of jimmying, you know, to make it work. So let's hope this is easier. Okay, so my next little Halloween project, I bought these jack-o'-lanterns. I saw this on TikTok. They are these old school um, trick-or-treating and I'm gonna put them on our yard lights. So what I need to do, I just took the handle off, is I need to drill a one inch hole here so they can just slide right on. So I just bought a one inch drill bit. I'm not fancy in any way, this is what it is on Amazon. And I'm gonna put it in my basic little drill bit piece here. And we're gonna see it says it's supposed to be good for wood, plastic, and other things. So we'll see. We're just gonna shoot for like something right down the center of this. I'm gonna use the ground to do it. go all the way, so I'm gonna split this open. Okay, so I also bought some of this Sun Guard UV protection, it's supposed to help protect things from the sun. We get a lot of sun in front of our house. 